Why is religion crucial? Even the most uncompromising atheist believes that truthfulness is better than lying, right? The most uncompromising atheist believes that faithfulness is better than betrayal, right? These terms are not from this world, and the material world does not substantiate their conceptualization or their requisite. What does truthfulness mean, and what does lying mean? If we analyze the depth of the atoms, will we be able to monitor concepts like truthfulness or lying? If we observe the physics of the galaxies or the chemistry of the hormones, will we be able to observe faithfulness or betrayal? Hence, these concepts are not from this material world. Yet, they are real concepts, as a matter of fact. They are the most important things in existence. The value of man is measured by his manners. Not his material size, or the number of his atoms, or the level of energy in his cells. The value of man is recognized by how deeply he complies with the divine obligations within himself. There is a good man and an evil man, but there is no good mountain and evil mountain. There is no faithful planet and unfaithful planet. It is only man who can uphold values, purpose, and meaning. It is only man who can perceive existence. The brain is made up of the very same material components. No matter how complex the brain is, no matter how complex its material components, the sum of all zeros will always be a zero, no matter how many zeros we add. Since matter knows no good or evil, the brain as well knows no good or evil. Hence, the question that poses itself is, how did the concepts of good and evil settle in the brain? What prevents the brain from annihilating the whole earth and everything that lives on it? Why can't the brain think of placing the weakest of mankind in animal cages? Why can't the brain get rid of all the sick and handicapped, so as to leave only the highly efficient, like the Nazi project Octoon T4? The material brain does not know if any of the above actions is good or bad, because the brain is completely indifferent when it comes to morals. Since it is made from the very same atoms of the earth, there is no connection, near or far, between morals and the brain. As for the notion that says that societies could be the origin of morality, this idea is so strange because morals are subjective and they concern man as a man, not the society as a society. If any of this was true, and morals have originated from the society, the Nazis would have been right in disposing of all others, since this is what the society would want. Hence, morals are separate from the society, and both the good and the bad societies know what righteousness is and what evil doing is. Consequently, morals are far beyond the brain and the society. Religion is the only thing that gives a rationalization for manners. The only thing that gives morals their distinctive character. Morals can only be perceived within the framework of divine accountability, and religion is the only vivacious entity in the whole existence, since it is the only guidance we have to the purpose of existence. Through religion, we know why we are here, what follows death, what existence means, and what is needed from us. Without religion, the universe will regress to total blindness and nihilism. Ibn al qayyim may Allah have mercy on him, says, There is no pathway to happiness or well-being in this life or the afterlife except that which is pointed to us by the prophets. There is no way to distinguish the good from the bad in details except through them. The satisfaction of the Creator can never be attained except at their hands. Their guidance and way of living is our only herald to good morals, deeds, and words. This whole world is pitch black and damned, except for where the sun of the revelation shone. Without the divine revelation, we would not know the purpose of existence, the meaning of goodness, or its value. Without the divine revelation, the whole world would be reduced to nothing but a scary frivolity. Without revelation, we would have just been star stuff, as Carl Sagan says, or an insect, as Sartre says. 
Prophethood is the only pulse of existence, and without it, the best inventions and the most ecstatic desires would have been real terror. Without religion, the whole world is a big waste. If you ask an atheist this existential question, why are we here in this life? What will happen to us after we die? He will either resort to sophisticity or he will stay silent. Hence, religion is a natural requirement when it comes to perceiving moral values or realizing the meaning of existence or answering the existential question of who created this whole existence? Who created man? What is the purpose from our existence and the wisdom from actions or beings?